Hi, I'm Ashton, and today I wanted to film a video that I've been needing to do for like 10 years. If you've never been to my channel before, hello. I have a series called Patches and Parley where I sew a patch onto my jacket or like organize my pins or anything, and it has gotten to the point where I have too many pins to fit on my jacket at once. I do want to do a black denim vest at some point, probably once I finish the jacket that I have now, just so that I can wear that in the hotter months because the one I have right now has sleeves. But today I just wanted to show you my entire enamel pin collection. One of my favorite things ever to watch on YouTube is collection videos like piercings, tattoos, pins, patches, whatever the fuck people collect. I love watching that stuff. Also, before I get started, I also have a lot of buttons, like pin back buttons, that also are on my jacket and interspersed throughout my life. So if you would like a collection video on those, I could also do that. I'm at a point in my life right now where like, I'm going to college in a couple months, I just need to avoid buying things whenever possible. Um, and one of the things that I impulsively buy is enamel pins. So this video is a reminder to myself that I need to halt on doing that for a while at least. So I'm going to go through the pins that I have one by one um, and tell you where they are from because the vast majority of them are from small artists. A lot of them are LGBT or people of color. And I just want to give some more support to them because the people that are artistic and create things like this are friggin' awesome. So I'm also going to link them all in the description in the order that they appear in this video. So look out for that. Anyways, I'm going to be interspersing close-up shots of all of the pins as I talk about them and going through them one by one. So this first one is two little black hearts and one of them is rainbow sparkly with a little banner across it that says not available. I like it because it reminds me of like traditional tattoos where you see like hearts and banners across them. It is from Punky Pins and I do have a boyfriend so I am not available so it's accurate so there's that. <laughs> this next one is also from Punky Pins and it is a dagger through a moon with a little sparkly circle that says it's not just a phase. I love it because again sparkles and also because of the whole brand of homophobia that's like it's a phase that comes along with coming out and it's also kind of an inside joke with myself because I've been like an alternative emo person for like um six years now? I don't know for a lot of my life and um, at this point, I truly believe that it's probably not a phase and it's just not something I'm gonna grow out of and here we are. <laughs> this next one is a cute little circle that says, you've got this and it's from the Gay Pin Guys. Gay Pin Guys is a small business that is run by LGBT people. They make really rad pins and they also make things like handkerchiefs, which are really cute. I would definitely recommend checking out their Instagram and their website and all their things. This next one is just a stylized text pin that says, which, um, I like it because witches it's a pin that I've seen copied a lot around the internet, but it is originally by Punky Pins. These next two are also by Punky Pins, and I got them together in a little pack because they're kind of a similar aesthetic. One is a spiderweb, and one is a skull. I adore spiderwebs as an aesthetic. I want a spiderweb tattoo someday. Um, I just think spiderwebs are like gorgeous and a fucking miracle of nature. Can you imagine like creating something like that out of your butt? Because spiders do that. This next one is a pin I got through Strange Ways. Strange Ways is a pin patch other apparel kind of collective. Um, they have an in real life shop in Connecticut, I believe. And they are owned by LGBT people. And they're just a really cool business in general. And I would recommend supporting them. Um, quite a few of my pins are from them, including this Down For Whatever pin. It is just a black and silver pin that says Down For Whatever in a cute little serif font. I think it's adorable. When I first got it, my boyfriend joked about it being like a sexual thing, but honestly for me, it's just a little reminder to be easygoing and to just kind of go with the flow because that's something that I struggled with a lot, having anxiety. Um, so it's just kind of a mini reminder of like, just let things happen and everything will work out okay. <laughs> this one is really pretty and intricate. It's a little spell book. It is just black and white and this is from Punky Pins. It's just so little and so detailed and I love it so much. This one is from a shop that I haven't mentioned yet, Life Club. Um, and it says, love made me do it. I like to think that a lot of the things I do in life are out of love and love is something that inspires me in general. So it's a pin that I like, that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> the last one on the top row is a little Toronto pin. Um, it's not even an enamel pin, it's just metal, but I got it at the top of the CN Tower. While Canada does have its issues, I vastly prefer it to the United States. I can't remember if it was when I was a sophomore or a junior. I think maybe when I was a junior? Yes, when I was a junior, mm -hmm. I went to Disney World with the marching band and we performed and marched through Disney World and we also had like three days to do whatever. So of course, we spent one of those days 
in the Star Wars area of Disney World. And me and my friend Ollie, who's been on this channel, and I think a couple other people that we were in a mini group with all got the little like blind bag things of enamel pins that were all random Star Wars characters. And I don't know if I've talked about it that much on this channel, but I am in love with Anakin Skywalker from the prequels. Like not when he was a baby, but like teenage Anakin Skywalker with the long like messy curly hair and the intense scar, like, ugh, my heart. I love that man. Um, so when I got Darth Vader, I was like, Hell yeah. And then he came with a stormtrooper, which I felt was only appropriate. And I love both of them. And whenever I wear one of them, I always wear the other one. <laughs> this next one is just a little leather jacket with a heart on it. And it's just a random little design that I really like. I got it from Strange Ways. These next two I got together, and this is the only one where I'm not going to tell you where I got it, because I believe they are knockoffs. Um, I got them on a seller through Etsy, which is generally a pretty safe place to get things, but I've seen these pins all over the place, and I don't believe that I got them from the original seller. I don't know who the original creator of these pins are, but I believe they're from the same person, so if you know, please tell me. But anyways, I believe I found the original seller for the snake, which I will be linking in the description, but I am useless with the cat one, so let me know if you know it, but... I found the snake. One's a little cat in the shape of a moon, and one is a little intertwined snake that says, do no harm, take no shit, which is kind of my life motto. I wish I knew who created these originally, and it friggin' sucks that I didn't get them from the original creator. This one is from Life Club, and it says, built for sin. It's in a very similar style to the Love Made Me Do It one. I love this one because of the way that the lettering is done, and it's also just something that I never really thought about, but like, I grew up like indoctrinated into Christianity, and I'm, and I now consider myself an agnostic atheist, but um, I do think it's really funny that like, the original creation story in the Bible, like, literally has humans rooted to be sinners and like that's our whole purpose so like built for sin is being gay a sin then count me the fuck in <laughs> that's my new life motto but yeah life club makes a lot of cool stuff and i really love the lettering on this one this next one is also from life club it's not set down heart that says sad soul and there's a tiny evil eye in the middle of it i just really love the design of this one it reminds me of a traditional tattoo again that's kind of going to be a common theme, I think. All right, we're on to row three. This one says Witch's Brew, and it's a little coffee cup with a pentagram on it and a little eyeball inside of it. This is from Punky Pins, and it is just so intricate and cute. Punky Pins has like a wide variety of pins, like the skull and the spider web that I showed you earlier are really simple. But then this one and the spellbook pin are really intricate and tiny and detailed, and I don't know, I just... Mm, I love all of them. I love the little diamond-shaped sparkles on it and the little eye peeking out of the coffee cup. It's just really cute. And as you can probably tell, I love anything with a witchy vibe to it, so. This next one is from the History of Diving Museum, as you can probably tell, which is in Key Largo, Florida. Um, I went to the museum, and it was cool, and I picked up a pin. That is the whole story. Fun fact you probably don't know about me. I'm a licensed scuba diver, um, and I got this pin, like, the day that I officially became a licensed scuba diver. So, so it's kind of a cool little reminder of that for me. Um, it's cool, it's in a circle. It's a nice pin, I like it. This next pin is one of my favorites. It was a gift from the people over at Gender Swap. It is a pin from Heads Above the Waves, which is a nonprofit organization that has a shop in Wales, I believe. Heads Above the Waves is a nonprofit that does work with self-harm and mental health awareness, and they're just an all-around really cool nonprofit organization. I'm gonna link their stuff down below as well as Gender Swap because they sent me the pin and I adore it. This is another one that really reminds me of a traditional tattoo. It's a gravestone that says RIP stigma on it, referencing the stigma around mental health, which is a good message and it's a cute pin and I absolutely adore it. This next pin is a Claude Monet head, which is kind of cool. Monet is one of my favorite, like, well-known artists, I suppose, and I've seen his work in real life in Paris. My Twitter header has been a picture of me standing in front of one of his paintings for, like, as long as I've had Twitter, um, so like three or four years. Um, but I love Monet's work, and at the end of the year in my APR history class, we did a Secret Santa type thing, and we each chose an artist from a piece that we studied that year, and we got each other gifts related to what we know about the other person as well as the artist that they chose, and I chose Monet. So the person got me those pins because they noticed that I wear my jacket a lot with pins all over it. And yeah, it's a Monet head pin. What else can I say? I, I love Monet's work so much. I also painted a shirt to look like a Monet painting. Insert photo of that here. 
it was really fun. I enjoyed doing it. Um, yeah, that- well, I ranted about Monet for like 30 seconds. That was completely unnecessary. Next pin. This pin just says rad, and it is from Punky Pins, and I say rad so much. I think it might be because of Frankie Arrow, so I'm blaming him for this one. Um, but this reminds me of one of those, like, neon signs, as well as those, like, designs that you'd see in roller skating rinks when you went to parties as a kid, you know what I'm talking about? I just love the design of it, and I love the word rad, I think it's rad, and it's a cool pin. I got this pin at a NASA facility in Wallops Island, which I visited, uh, last spring break, question mark? So I got to see a bunch of the NOAA instruments there, and they have like a mini museum about the history of NASA and space science, and it was just really, really cool. I loved it there, and I got this little pin in their gift shop. This one is from Punky Pins. It's your classic like rose and heart with some sparkles, and the rose has a moon inside of it. It's just so like up my alley aesthetic-wise that I just couldn't not get it. I love it so much. It's adorable. This next one is a cute snake that is bent into a pretzel shape with the pink background, and it's also from Punky Pins. And I just like this one because I like snakes, and pretzels are a cute shape, and snakes are cute, and it's just good. That's all. This one is another travel-related pin I got out on my trip to the Outer Banks, and it is a little pin of a lighthouse that I climbed to the top of. This one is another Star Wars pin that I got from Disney. And my boyfriend has the matching Han pin that says, I know because of the whole, I love you, I know thing. If you've watched Star Wars, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then like, get on that. I usually keep this one on my black book bag that I take like everywhere I go. Um, but it is on my board for now because I was planning on doing this video and I wanted all my pins to be in one place. But yeah, he didn't go on that Disney trip with the band because of like a conflict that there was. Um, but I got those matching pins for us when I went. This is the first pin that I've shown you from Last Craft Designs. I adore Last Craft. Um, the first thing I got from them was actually my lace locks, insert picture here. They're little metal things that I put on my Doc Martin boots that say queer magic. They have a bunch of other phrases on different lace locks. I also have a couple pins from Last Craft and this is one of them. It's just a beautiful artsy girl with firing eyeballs. So that's fun. They were doing a second sale, so a lot of smaller individually run pin patch whatever companies will do second sales where they like sell the products that they make that have tiny flaws in them for a discounted price. So this has two very, very slight indents in the enamel on her neck, but you know, I genuinely don't care. If you want to start a pin collection, I would definitely recommend following your favorite sellers that are like smaller and independent, because when they do run second sales, you can get pins that are still very, very good quality and have like very minimal flaws for a much cheaper price. And you are still supporting that artist and helping them get rid of stock that they wouldn't be able to sell at a full price because of those little flaws. So it's cool. I appreciate shops that do that. This one is a pretty badly made enamel pin that says pride in a rainbow with little clouds that are sparkly. I got this from Target. I generally uh, avoid shopping from like larger places like that. Um, but I saw these in store at their pride collection two years ago, question mark. Oh, this is our first pin from Bianca Designs. I absolutely love Bianca's design shop. I recently backed one of their Kickstarters because my dad owed me money, and you'll see that pin in a few minutes. Um, but this is one of their original, like, gay pride flag pins. Um, this, like, little wavy pride flag design is one that they have done in many different iterations. I also have a patch on my jacket from them that says, Love Knows No Gender. It looks like this. Um, this is a sticker that I have also from Bianca Designs, obviously. But seriously, if you follow one artist from this video, make it Bianca. Their work is incredible. And they're not only run by an LGBT person, but a person of color. Along with a ton of Pride themed pins, they also have Latinx themed pins um, that are often incorporated with like Pride themes. And they, they just have a bunch of really, really cool designs. And I wholeheartedly support everything that they do and just go follow them. They're great. This one is another favorite and it is from Gay Pin. It's a little resist fist with the trans flag on it. Um, I got this in my Christmas stocking for my parents because I specifically asked for this pin with a bunch of the proceeds going to, I believe it was the Trevor Project, but I'm not 100% sure. 
I'll put a little correction of myself up here if I'm not right. Once again, the Gapen guys are a really great independently run company, and I would definitely recommend checking them out. This is another one from Gapen, and it's a little unicorn that says magical homosexual with a rainbow in the background. This is one of my favorite pins just because the design is like really cohesive. Three in a row from the Gapen guys. This is one of my favorite pins as well because it's just a straight up queer pin. That's it. It says queer and it has like a semi rainbow design in the back and I love it. It's also from the Gapen guys. It's great. It's cute. It's one of my favorites. Moving on. As you can probably tell from the quality of this pin, it's another Target one. It came with that pride pin and it's a little rainbow lightning bolt with some glitter on it. That's all I have to say about it. This one is another favorite of mine. It is again from Last Craft and it says queer as in fuck you. My mother really doesn't like this pin, but I did wear it to a Frankie Arrow concert. This is as of right now the only explicit pin that I have, so I only really wear it in spaces where like I know it's okay. But there's a song by the Dog Park Distance called Queer as in fuck you that I adore. <laughs> this pin is the one that I got from Bianca's Kickstarter. It only came in yesterday and I was actually putting off this video so that I could get this pin before I filmed it. But this is the Demi Boy flag and Demi Boy is one of my many identities. I generally call myself a non-binary trans masculine person or a non-binary trans man, but Demi Boy is another label that fits me quite nicely and the flag for it is really friggin cute. So I got that pin and I love it with all of my heart. It goes really well with the gay pride pin um, of the same design, and yeah, just once again, I really, really love everything that Bianca does. Please go support them. I've only just now realized while editing that this sounds like super sponsored. I promise Bianca did not pay me to say any of this stuff. I just really adore all of the work that they do. This is not sponsored. They did not pay me to say this. They did not send me free things to say this. Like, I just genuinely... I'm in love with everything they do, so. This is one of my favorite pins because it's so little, but it's so pretty. And it's a little water lily. Does this remind you of another pin that I've already shown you? So this came with the Claude Bonnet face pin that I have, um, that was also from the girl in art history class. I will see if I can find it to link it below, but if not, I'm sorry. But I do love this pin very much. Um, it's colored so prettily and water lilies are just gorgeous, and Claude Monet's paintings are gorgeous, and that's what it reminds me of. Okay, these next five pins I'm going to show you as a series because they're all from the same collection type thing. These are all from Punky Pins. They're all very, like, pastel, cute little floral animal prints, and I love them so friggin' much. Whenever I wear one of these, I always wear all of them. I originally only had three of these, the fawn, the bunny, and the deer, but I recently saw the other two on sale on Punky Pins when I got a couple other pins from them, and I was like, oh my god, I have some other ones from that collection, and I need those ones, and I love them so much. So, I love when pins, like, correlate with each other, and, like, these five together is just... Mwah. Not entirely my aesthetic, obviously, but little pins like this, I'm totally okay if they go out of my comfort zone color-wise, um, and I adore this collection so, so much. So we have this little bunny curled up in a teacup that says tea for two, and a little heart-shaped biscuit next to it. There's this fawn curled up around a pentagram. There's this little bunny rabbit in front of a pastel heart and some flowers growing up her back. Here's a boy deer holding a crescent moon in his antlers with some flowers growing around that too. And finally, a little fox curled up with another flower on his back. They all have a super similar color palette and the flowers are designed the same way and I just love them so much. It's like when artists do series of paintings like Monet's Water Lilies and they all just fit together so beautifully. That's like one of my favorite things in the world. And the fact that like that very same concept is done in like enamel pin format is just like mind-blowing for me. <laughs> These two are really, really tiny potted plant pins, and I love them. They're just really cute. They go really well together on, like, either side of a lapel or either side of my pocket on my jean jacket, and I just think they're really damn cute. Um, they came as a set, and they're from Punky Pins. This one is the final last craft pin. Um, it says Good Witch in a little pastel purple. Purple is my second favorite color. If you didn't know, it goes black, then purple, then red. I don't know why you would want to know that, but now you do. This is another one that I got from their second sale. It has a tiny imperfection in the enamel on the bottom that I don't know if you can see, but I love it regardless, and I think it's very cute. The design of this pin is just very clean and well done and readable, and I just think it's really cute, and Last Craft is for sure one of my very favorite pin sellers as well. Um, 
spoiler alert, every single one of these is my favorite. That's not really a spoiler because we're almost done the video, but it's fine. This one is one of my favorites and also one of my boyfriend's favorites. Whenever I wear it, he always like points at it and it's just like, I like that one. So it's someone in denim shorts with thick thighs and it says my thighs touch because they love each other. So it's just a little body positivity pin and it's one of the most meaningful ones for me because I do have a really, really difficult time loving my body. Like aside from being trans, I've also dealt with disordered eating in the past and my thighs are a part of me that I haven't always been the most positive about. Um, so getting myself this pin was kind of like an act of self-love in itself and kind of a statement of like, fuck it. I love my thighs and they love each other. This is the last pin that I have from Bianca. It's the succulent design. I just think it's so cute and so well designed and I just adore it. I believe they also have another succulent pin. I don't have that one. Maybe I will someday, but I'm not gonna tell myself that because I know I'll just go buy it and I'm not gonna do that. I am not gonna allow myself to do that. And we're finally on to the last pin. And I'm kind of sad that I saved this one for last because like it's not one of my favorites. I just have it because I think it's cute and I needed to get something Chapel Hill related because, oh my God. Guys, I don't know how many of you are at like an American college, but American colleges have like so much like college pride, it is wild. I went to orientation this past week at Chapel Hill and I got this pin while I was there and just everything about orientation was so like prideful. They talk about like bleeding blue and they taught us like three different school cheers and like, it was just intense. It's like patriotism for your school. Um, it's not really my thing, but like, I guess that's just kind of how it is here in the States. So it's, I'm just gonna have to deal with it for the next four to eight years. And this one was my favorite because they had a bunch of designs that were like heavily branded, like the Tar Heel thing or just the whole UNC thing. And I'm not like a huge fan of that, but the little well is subtle enough for me. And I think it's cute colors and I just like the design. That is the last pin. We are done. Oh my God, I've been filming for an hour. <laughs> this video is probably only like 20 minutes. I hope I can get it under 20 minutes, but I've been filming for an hour. I know I've been putting out videos on like a semi-regular basis recently, but in the past week um, from when I am filming this, I have had to like pack my bags and leave my house three times. Um, first I had orientation, then I dog sat slash house sat for four days, and tomorrow I'm leaving to go to the mountains for the 4th of July, even though like we're not celebrating the 4th of July. Anyways, that was some random rambles along with my entire enamel pin collection. I finally filmed this video. I finally got that out of the way. Please tell me if you're proud of me because I'm proud of me. <laughs> I hope that some of you enjoyed this video and or found a new LGBT artist to follow. Make sure that you check out the links in the description for the shops where I got all of these because so many of them are just run by really incredible people. Even if I don't know them personally, I just really appreciate the art that they create and I think that they deserve more credit for what they do. So go check those out if you're interested in anything like that. Goodbye, I hope you found a new artist that inspires you and I will talk to you later, maybe.